Oceans cover more than 70% of Earth. However, more than 80% of it remains unexplored. What strange creatures and monsters have we never even discovered down in the deepest parts of the ocean? And while the sea monkeys spend their free time in the shallows, grazing on sea bananas, there are some sea monkeys who have wandered into the unknown. And the sea monkeys that eventually come back are never the same. Paragon sea monkeys. Something truly worth fearing. I am so excited for some Paragon sea monkeys now. You all have no idea. Deal. We also need to go ahead and put down the book of sea monkey knowledge right there. No! Balloons are getting by. This is unacceptable. So the book of sea monkey knowledge actually helps us out here and applies a buff to all sea monkeys. So we can actually put down this. It's kind of like a support tower specifically for sea monkeys. So sharpener shrapnel, spike shrapnels, and on Berry produces two more spikes per sea monkey. Balloon variant specimen produce plus one baby instead. So we want to make sure we get that water. Sea urchins and tridents last 20% longer. That's actually pretty good. We might want to be able to get that too. Scare tactics, warning sirens, damage, and stun balloons at a large radius on activation. Well, we are going to want to get ourselves uh, a lot of money. I just realized this probably might not be the best map for this because we need to make a lot of money, I just realized. Because we need to get the Paragon Sea Monkey! So we'll put our first banana farm right there, and now we can start working on getting as much money as possible. Because, holy cow, look at this. Look at the Paragon! The Abyssal Fissure, that sounds so cool. Teutonic activity on the ocean floor proves fatal to all that's above. That's spooky! So that's 270,000, 100,000, 81,000, 43,000. That's definitely not as expensive as most Paragons. In fact, if I, I would say, I would go to say that that's probably one of the most, or the cheapest forms. Wait, oh my gosh, do we have, yes! Yes! We got cross path on, which is exactly what we want. Why do we want cross path? Because that's how we make like infinite amount of money. Let's go get valuable bananas. Then we can get banana salvage. And then now I need to save up. Actually, I'll get greater production first. I like going two, two, two. I want to get, uh, what is the other upgrades? So all of, monkey see monkey do get a free sea monkey every 10 rounds. I really want to get that because I mean, I guess it's really every 10 rounds you get like $595, right? Like that's not that it's really not that big of a deal. Doesn't help out that much, but if I can get it earlier rather than later, that could be really, really nice. 865, there we go. Hopefully that does work where it gives us a free sea monkey because I know it was kind of not working the last time we tried, but I'm not worried about it. And then crossbow as well, triple shot crossbow. We can't go wrong with that. Literally, you can't go wrong. We basically just win now. Marketplace, there we go. There's our first marketplace getting us all of the money. We just need to just, like if we can get this up and running, I think I'm going to get banana plantation first. And then once I get banana plantation, we can start working on getting our sea monkeys because we need to get all three of them for the Paragon Tower. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, this one won't be able to, uh, we have, we're gonna, we're gonna, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna get a bomb shooter. I gotta remove this and then I gotta put you down. Extra range, frag bombs, cluster bombs, target strong. And we are not gonna lose, but it didn't feel great. That felt pretty, that felt pretty bad. I'm gonna get Spike Apult and Juggernaut because that will give us the ability to pop lead balloons now. And now we got rid of that too. So look at this. I don't, I didn't put Benjamin down. I can't believe that I didn't put Benjamin down. That's, that hurts. That hurts the soul. But now we have Benjamin down and we're gonna start getting more lives because of Benjamin once he starts, once he gets high enough level for that. Poison pricks, poison sea urchins pop and poison all balloons, causing them to take more damage from all sources and over time. That's a nice, that's a nice upgrade to have. This dart monkey is so powerful. I don't want to use this dart monkey the whole time. I really just wanted to get the banana research facility first. And now that we have the banana research facility, now we start making money. Now the money, now money just, it, we just make money. Echolocation and then aqua affinity is pretty cool. Territorial terror is a really nice upgrade to have. 
I mean, that pretty much deals with everything. So let's sell this because I... Oh, wait. Look at this. We have actually two free uh, hoojabobbers. So we have... I'm going to put one over there. And then we can put one over here. These can be our, our towers. So this one, I think we probably want to do... Yeah, Poseidon Commander. So the middle one, I want to get and get Water Waves. Jagged Edges. Sea Urchins. Pop one extra per rank. And then what's this one do? Sea Shanty. No, I think Spike Shrapnel is probably better to get just because it's really strong. There we go. So now we should be able to deal with most of these balloons. Look at that. That's so strong. I love having those uh, tridents. Let's get Central Market because that helps us get more money as well. Can I put a banana farm here? No! Don't tell I can't put a banana farm next to Benjamin either. This is a bunch of baloney, okay? This is, this is a bunch of hog wash let's get us some pontoons okay pontoons okay now we have plenty of pontoons all right we can put up here one two four five i i i don't need more than six six is plenty thank you banana research facility that's exactly what we want and now let's increase production greater production but look at how fast we make money that's crazy that's so good it really is, like, just so nice that we can ge generate money so fast using Crosspath. Crosspath's the greatest mod. It really is. Oh, wait! We need to put more points into this thing. So, Scare Tactics. So, Sea Urchins pop an extra layer when thrown directly at Balloons, even Leads. And then Urch Sea... Urchant Situation. Okay, enough puns. This is serious. Sea Monkey Attack. Faster. Knowledge of the Deep. Abyssal Fissure Power Degrees are much more generous. Oh, so we want to get this before we upgrade to the Paragon Tower, because if we buy this, then all of the Paragons are much more generous. So we'll actually get a higher Paragon degree. Look at that, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 13,000, 15,000. Holy cow, Banana Research Facility. Okay, now we got to save up. I'm going to buy Banana Central because Banana Central is really nice to have. Then we can start working on making sure that we have everything we need for getting the Paragon Sea Monkey. And bada bang, bada boom, that's a Banana Central right there. Thank you. And then that's where, like, look at that, 1600 That makes so much money. That's like four of them combined. That's just how much money it makes. Okay, so let's get Poseidon Commander for the first T5. So there's Poseidon Commander, and I mean, Poseidon Commander is so powerful. I feel like you just don't beat Poseidon Commander. Let's get the elusive Blunivorous specimen. Specimen. That's gonna be like I. The sea monkey is already so crazy powerful. Like, look at this. Look, it's shooting the water all over the place. Absolutely annihilating these bad boys. The elusive Blunivorous specimen. Blunivorous specimen. So that's that thing, which is like looks like a really, really tasty piece of candy. It looks like an everlasting gobstopper from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Let's go ahead. We actually want to go bottom path now because we get Warning Whale, uh, Siren, Hypnotic Tunes, and then Cursed Song of Balloon Doom. And that should actually unlock us now that we bought it. It froze to get Abyssal Fissure, which is $270,000. That's so expensive. Let's go ahead. I'm going to buy Knowledge of the Deep so that way Paragons are more uh, um, inexpensive. So let's actually, what's the most expensive? Atlantis Guard is 9,000. Which one's 7,000? Ter territorial, territorial Terror is 13 grand. So I think if we spend more money and buy, and buy like more Territorial Terrors, when we upgrade the, to the Paragon Tower, this tower is going to be absolutely bananas. And I mean that in the best way possible. All right, we're doing really, really well right now. I mean, we've got lots and lots of uh, things down. I think that's probably enough for these. I'm not looking to get a 100 degree Paragon, but we have a couple of other down. We have all the uh, the things down. So let's go ahead and buy the Abyssal Fissure. We can actually afford it right now. All we have to do, we can sell that. And then, I mean, we already have it, right? But we don't need, we don't need any more banana farms. It is time to get the Paragon Sea Monkey. If you're excited and you want to see more Paragon videos, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It helps out the channel tremendously. Let's do this, my friends. Where do we want the Abyssal Fissure? We have one here. That's the Poseidon Commander. I guess this is the character. So let's get the Abyssal Fissure. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my, so what Paragon degree does it get? 37! All right, we take that. The Sea Monkey Paragon degree, holy cow. He's even got a cape? Yo, he's got an actual cape. Wait, oh my gosh, look at these tornadoes. They look so, balloons, wait. 
Balloons aren't even spawning. They shoot lightning. Wait, what else are they? What else are you attacking with? What is this? They're like a t they're throwing something at them, but I'm not entirely sure to either. All right, let's get rid of Benjamin. This character is crazy. Like actually, ca ca this character is so powerful. It looks like there's a mixture of pretty much everything. It puts down different types of spikes too. And wait, 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 wait. Where th where are these coming from? Oh, so when these expire and set, it puts down even more of them. That's crazy. This tower is so powerful, my friends. Look at it go. This tower is absolutely just annihilating everything. So let's let's have a little bit of fun here, okay? We know that this tower is going to be super good. So we're going to give it a little bit of time and let some more difficult rounds come. And then we'll be right back. All right, well, we're on round 79. So round 80 is right around the corner. I don't think the ZOMG is going to stand a chance against us, though. Right? Like, I don't think the ZOMG is going to be able to do anything. Let's see exactly how powerful this insane paragon tower is round 79 over round 80 let's see what you got all right you're up to bat round 80 oh 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 okay well that was uh that was crazy and if you want to see more of the sea monkey paragon or more modern paragon on the tower hit that like button subscribe turn on notifications thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow for some more awesome content.